Welcome to the tutorial series for the 3D Platformer Toolkit. For those unaware, this toolkit is a template project for Unreal Engine 4 that you can use to start creating your own 3D platformers with relative ease. Everything in it is organized and labeled for the purposes of easy access and adding new features quickly. If you don't already have the toolkit, you can find it at the link below on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Today we'll be going over how to get started using the toolkit. I'll be assuming that you have at least a starter knowledge about using Unreal Engine 4, so if you don't already know the basics of using it, I'd recommend you watch other tutorial series and get beginner knowledge before using this. So everything you need to get started is all already in here in Engine. The first thing you're going to want to do is add a new level, so let's start by doing that. Once your level set up, you can go ahead and hit play and start moving around. As you can see, because of the default game mode, we already have a character you can freely run around in. Everything's programmed in, programmed into him right away, like attacking, double jumping, all that. You can also hit backspace uh, or change the input to whatever you want to either resume the game, quit the game, and go to the title screen, um, as you can see here, or you can return to the overworld, uh, overworld, which will immediately you'll lose any progress you've made in that level so far. Now, you have a point where the player will start the level, obviously, but you also have a blueprint in the game that will let you determine where the player will end. Under Blueprints and Interactables, you'll find this, B Level End. Upon smacking it, as it says, whacked end level, you'll be shown the level end screen. This will right now only shows you how many gems you've collected out of the total number of gems in the level, which right now is obviously none because we haven't put any in. After which, you'll return to the overworld, where you can select any number of levels that you have set up. Now that's all well and good, but you'll probably also want a way of actually accessing your level from the overworld, so you can actually play it in game, and so when you complete it, you can unlock other levels to travel to. In order to do that, you'll have to actually save your level first and give it a name. So for the sake of this, let's call it Tutorial Level, and save. Now, in order to access a level from the overworld, you'll need to do a few things. One, you'll need to actually access a point on the map where, on the overworld map, where that level is. So, grab B world point and place it somewhere. I'll say we'll place it here. Why not? Though, by default, there is no geometry to go along with a overworld point. You'll have to place it in the level yourself. So, for now, we'll place uh, just a random block and let's add something to make it look just a little bit less boring boom uh, for anyone wondering this is a special debugging material shader that i have made myself if you want you can get it from uh, my website studiosyndicate.com for free you can download it and just drop it right into your whatever project and it should work right away for Debugging geometry. Anyway, now that we have this world point in here, we'll need to decide what level it actually accessed. So if you click on it and go to the level variable, here you'll input the name of whatever level you want it to open up. So in this case, we have the tutorial level, so we will just call it tutorial level. That's all well and good, but that's not enough on its own. See, in order to access all the necessary data for the level as well, you have to add it to the data tables level list or the DT level list. You can access DT level list by opening up data, tables, and DT level list. And from here, you'll see the different levels names with, a, with their tag, but also their actual level name. Now, we'll click on new. And in here, into the row name, you'll add the name of the level you want to access, or is its um, name in engine, as well as under the level tag. Then you can also give it a unique name. So why not call it lame level? Why the heck not? Um, so now we have everything set up in order to access it in the world, except for one more thing. Um, the way the overworld works is you'll use the WASD keys to move back and forth between the different uh, um, world map points. Um, Obviously, those keys can be changed in the input, but for now, this is what they are. Uh, but we can't access the level we set up. 
because we haven't told how, how to get there from any of the other levels. Um, the way this works is when your character is over uh, a DT level, uh, or sorry, a blueprint level world point, um, down in here you'll have the different directions he can move to. So if you know, if I press up, which would be W key, he'll move to this point, um, to world point one, which I believe is this one, yes, world point one. And on this one, if he clicks down, or not down, um, left, if he clicks left, he'll move to this one. Um, so, uh, in order, we need to set that up as well so you can move back, back and forth between these two. So, in order to do that, let's click on this, and then we'll say if you hit down, then you can go to this world point, which we will call world point test, or point test, whatever. Um, so, from here, if you click the down button, you'll go to world point test, and if you're at world point test and you click up, you'll go to this one's world point two. So, we'll say you'll go to world point two. And that's it. Now, I'll just hit play, and it's not working. Now, why wouldn't it be working? Well, the reason it's not working immediately is because not every level is immediately unlocked for you. Um, the way it's set up is that you can lock and unlock levels, or mostly unlock levels, um, through uh, code and through firing event triggers. Um, so by default, not every level is unlocked. What you'll need to do is you'll need to, you'll need to go to Engine and just open up GI Global. And once that's open up, under here, you'll have unlocked levels. And these will be the levels that are unlocked as soon as you start up a new game. Uh, right now, it's just the three test levels. Um, but if you click this and put in tutorial level, there you go. Now, the tutorial level should be a default level you can access. So if we play again and go down, boom, we can enter lane level. And if we ent hit enter level, hey, it's our test level. And if we hit whack, we'll go back to the overworld. Now, let's say you didn't want this level to be accessed right away. You want it to be, you have to complete another level to unlock it. You have to complete, I don't know, the boss level to unlock it. Well, then you will go up to here and say, all right, this is, you'll find, you go and open the DT level list and go to whatever level you want to be the one that once it's completed, you'll unlock a different level, obviously. And under levels complete, uh, levels unlocked upon completion, you'll click add and just put in the level input right there. Now, in order to make this work though and actually unlock it, you'll also have to remove it from the starting unlocked level. So we'll say delete tutorial level and let's go. So we can't access it yet. So let's go to the big boss level. Now once you've completed whatever level it is, in this case the boss level, you return to overworld, your next level will then be unlocked. So now I can travel to the lane level, enter it, and here we are. Whack, return to overworld. And there you go. That is how you create a new level, uh, let, end the level, and then access it from the overworld.